guys and welcome to the evolution of our garden. As a new and wannabe farmer who is also um, extremely incompetent in the craft of gardening, I am I'm, I'm feeling quite optimistic about our garden in this season that we are currently in. But let me first show you how our garden has just progressed over time since we moved to this home so that you can be able to appreciate how this incompetent amateur has evolved so far yeah i'm so glad you're here because <laughs> i just love hanging out with you guys and, and and spending this time with you so welcome so basically for some background when we moved here uh of course we were the first guys to live here so we were the first people to plant this garden and by we, I mean <laughs> uh, my amazing, amazing, adorable mom came and being the full real farmer that she is, she came and she planted a garden for me last year in September. And she asked me what plants I wanted and I really didn't have an idea. I asked her, what do you think is the best thing to plant? And she came and she planted for me. And we really tried to keep it going. Uh, we planted uh, tomatoes planted spinach, beetroots, carrots, collards, potatoes, bell peppers, french beans, then okay we planted everything but the kitchen sink. Okay? And <laughs> um it was it's been an interesting journey. We struggled with aphids or aphids. Uh then we uh, the spinach turned pale for some weird reason. The soil was hard. We tried making compost by just throwing uh, stuff <laughs> inside the garden. <laughs> Our lovely help was guilty of this. Um, then we realized the soil was not draining. Um, we realized we needed mulching, but had no ideas how to no idea how to mulch. And then the garden is full of rocks, and this is a few of the issues that we face with this garden. The garden wasn't a complete failure. See, like out of 10, I would give it like a 1.1. <laughs> um, but it's a strong 1.1. It's a confident 1.1 that the next time we will get to at least 4 out of 10. I don't know, you guys. Guys, this part of the video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare and I just want to thank you guys also for supporting me when I have sports and content because it means so much to me. Now, I want to explain to you how I have been using Skillshare to learn about gardening. Okay, granted, by the time I learned, I got to watching the courses on Skillshare about gardening. We had already done quite a bit in our garden and now that I'm learning so much, I'm like, I wish I could have a do-over but you know what? now i know how to progress progress on with our garden and how to improve what we are doing so far so i'm taking maybe there are so many courses on gardening and gardening in the urban setting not at gardening like ranching and all that gardening for people like you and i who don't have serious farms you know so let me show you some of the courses that i am taking now i'm learning i'm taking a course that that's called easy gardening with raised beds i've been wanting to have raised beds in our garden for since the beginning of the year but i didn't know exactly how to go about it and now because i didn't know i didn't even know the benefits of having a raised bed because i didn't know all that i just went back to the old tried and true uh gardening which now i know I could do now i know i could have raised beds there's another which i really really loved it's called backyard abundance the power of a tiny garden let me tell you guys this guy is showing you how to have raised beds for starters how you can make raised beds out of different materials how to create a good soil for your garden because me i thought you just take the soil that is in your garden until that's what you grow your clothes on your, not grow your clothes grow your crops on but apparently you create your own soil I am learning so much. There's another one called create a small space edible garden, especially like if you live in an apartment 
Um, okay, now I've gone to others about making croissants. <laughs> But basically, there is so much to learn on Skillshare about gardening, about, well, baking, making croissants, okay? Uh, there's another one called Gardening 101, a guide for growing and caring for your plants. Another one called Easy Gardening, Indoor Edible Plants. So, so much. So, I did manage to watch these courses before I gardened because I was busy watching the other ones about how to grow my YouTube, how to do filming, how to grow my my whatever my business so yeah i kind of went a bit late but anyway that just goes to show that there's so much to learn on skillshare and i just have to keep up and also remember as i always tell you you can download these courses on your phone so that you watch them on the go and yeah you know traffic university is real and so the first 1000 people who are going to download skillshare using the link in my description box or my code will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So please, guys, do yourself a favor. Go on me like me. Don't wait to learn about gardening after you've already planted a thousand things in your garden. And especially since we are in the rainy season, learn about gardening on Skillshare. Learn about how to grow your following if you're interested. Learn about how to bake croissants. Learn about how to paint. So much to learn. So remember, one month free trial of Skillshare. If you use the link in my description or my code and Let's continue with the gardening. You guys, flowers, grass are expensive. It's ridiculous how expensive they are compared to food that we actually eat like spinach and, and collards and, and leeks and all that. These ones were going for like, I mean, the spinach was like 10 bob a piece. Or oh, the collards were 20 bob. The, the leeks were like 20 bob. Very affordable. My goodness, when it comes to the flowers, some flowers are even costing 500 shillings. But you know what? It's you want to make your space look as nice as possible. The grass costs an arm and three, four legs, not even three, two legs. Very, very expensive. But I mean, it was worth it, I believe. We just have to keep them alive, then it will really be worth it. now we are out here in the middle of nowhere now the real middle of nowhere where we are looking for manure for the garden before we go to plant everything that we have found okay and this is far you guys this is how far we have come to look for poop precious precious poop now our gardener was telling us that it's better to get uh, the ones from goats and sheep 
because those ones break down faster because they're in small pieces as opposed to the ones for cows because those ones are huge and you know the big parties eh? so yes this is just in case you know just in case you ever wondered which kind of poop is better for your vegetable <laughs> but now you know the 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 goats and sheep is better because it's already broken down so it makes it easier and faster with the soil as opposed to the cow ones that makes sense yes it makes sense yes so and there's a lot these guys have quite a lot of goods so can literally smell it from the gate it's gonna be so good for our garden guys this time i am serious someone help us uh, professionally with the with the garden has been very helpful because one he could till it he could you know just really turn the soil over and everything which is very helpful um help us with where to buy the seedlings we need to buy where to buy the the grass which flowers to plant remove the dead flowers from the flower pots and plant new ones and all that jazz so this has been very very helpful and then also just having him come over every so often just to check on how things are going it's been good uh to know how much manure to put when to put it how to put it and all that is really beneficial okay maybe i shouldn't call him necessarily a professional because he's not like an agro agro what is why what are you guys calling it he's not an agronomist i think but he's he's a kym and kyms are highly appreciated and definitely more knowledgeable than we are by far about how to reduce your food budget and to save money and all that in this hyperinflation economy we talked about how important it is to grow your own food if you can now you guys know i have been having this journey with our garden and in today's video I just want to show you where we have reached so far and yeah <laughs> come and see for yourselves So all that that you've seen happened about a month ago, I would say. And now this is the update, all right? This is uh, our spinach. I don't know what is eating them, you guys, already. Look. They've been chewed by something. Let me see if I can zoom in. I'm so proud of the way this garden has just progressed within the last I'd say six weeks we can really see the fruits of our labor although I must admit I feel like this um, things were planted a bit too wide spaced apart 
I don't know if it's just me. Tell me what you think. But I am definitely sure that the next time you're going to be planting, we are going to use the box gardens. We just have to go serious now. Like get a shade to keep out most of the insects. I don't know, guys. I'm not saying full greenhouse, but I'm just saying the next season has to be better than this one. Yes, 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 yes. It has to be. That's basically the garden. I know it looks like a lot of uh, soil with nothing much growing in it. But I'll give you an update a few weeks later when it's all green and there's nothing and there's something more, more, more planty to see. But now, in the meantime, we also pl started planting or growing out our lawn. As you saw, we went to buy a lot of grass and the grass, the grass is doing so well. You would think grass is something we eat. The things we eat are not doing well, but the things we don't eat, my gosh. So the grass is doing quite well. I cannot wait to sit here and bask. We also managed to put up, as you saw, the kids' toys. I'm so happy. Started to look kind of like the old house a bit, right? Here are the two, the other two passion fruits oh one two next to the huge lemon tree that is doing very well okay so yep this is the kids play area and the sandbox yes needs sand but we are waiting for the rainy season to be over because i mean why put sand and then it all gets drenched in in rain so the the potted flowers we have a number of them look at this and there's that one over there also flowery they are doing quite well although i kind of wish we had a few more pots okay ignore the toys you can see you have two pots over there also doing quite well i want a few more okay these ones are doing so well the flowers are doing so well about the food i'm telling you it's murphy's law could we eat flowers who knows tell me I don't even know what these flowers are called by the way officially. But can you see the beauty? My gosh, it's doing so well. <laughs> and here's another one. Well, it could be better, <laughs> but it could also be worse. And we planted it way after the others. So my plan is to, when it's sunny again, to paint these pots. I'm going to just paint them brown, by the way. Nothing fancy. I don't like the ones that are yellow, blue, what? Just trying to keep it natural would be nice. And then the rest of the lawn looking so good, so good, so good, so good. Okay, there we go now. Let me show you what we did outside the gate. So what we did is we planted some beautiful flowers out here. We planted two roses and two other red bushes. I don't know what they're called. All I know is that they look pretty. But I don't know why the roses are dying. I don't know whether they're dying or whether they're coming back to life. Alright. Uh, this one is not looking so bad. So we planted two of each. I'm looking forward to seeing them just thrive over here. 
You should have seen how bad this place looked before. I forgot to take a before photo. Now, when you come to the other side, let me tell you guys. Frustration is real. Can you see that you're just seeing blankness? We planted flowers. Again, the same, the same design as the other side. The red ones and roses. And also we put hibiscus. But uh, some neighbors have been grazing their animals here. I don't think they are our neighbors, by the way. Let me know if you say they are our neighbors. They are not. So what we did is we took some rocks, we put them here at it to try and dissuade the animals from getting to our beautiful flowers. Wapi! Waste of time. So they've been chewed and chewed and chewed. So we want to see whether we can get our gardener to come and put up a nice fence here just to protect them. Because me, I'm not going to work this hard just to feed somebody's livestock. I'm sorry. Uh-uh, I refuse. It's not my portion. So thank you for hanging out guys. I hope this has been encouraging to you if you're trying to be a farmer. Remember it is such a great way to reduce your cost in your house. It's something good to do even with your kids. We're looking forward to having them more and more involved in the watering, in the planting, maybe get some livestock for them to take care of. It's really nice. And yeah, of course, just stress relieving, you know. So remember to check out my Skillshare code in the description box below and also the link that you can use in the first 1000 people will get a free month trial of skillshare so i'm looking forward to that and remember also to check out that video on how to reduce hyperinflation and how to survive in the hyperinflation economy which is so helpful thanks for hanging out guys and i will see you over there bye